Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. And last time, we were finally able to make use of the coveted ladder to the secret passage located within Threed, and we were able to use it to get to this point. Unfortunately, we ran into a lot of angry ghosts that gave us a really hard time. So much to the point where I ran out of PP and was pretty much on the brink of game over, so I pretty much decided since I wasn't really going to make it to the end anyway, I would just decide, since I didn't really have that much money on me anyway, to let the enemies kill me off and get me game over so that I could get back to 3 and recover. So, now that I have done that, I have now stocked up on foodstuffs, and in addition to that, I have also been able to get everyone back to this point with pretty good numbers, so we're doing a lot better than we were the last time we came here. No one was, no one is currently possessed like we were in the previous episode. Everyone's doing a lot better. <clears throat> but the question still remains, which path do I take? Do I go in the cave, or do I go up here? Let's go up here first before we go into the cave. And so far... Oh, it looks like the only thing we found is... The perverts. Yeah. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Banana and cherries! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. I'm sure it will. But I don't think that's the only reason. Because... Yeah, there has to be... What the... Okay, I thought there might be a cave in here, because I saw this little white spot when the pervert came in. I was thinking to myself, is there something in here? And I... Oh, you can walk around in here. Um, what did I find? Seriously, what did I find? <laughs> <coughs> All I'm just getting are dots. Like, maybe I have to come back over to this spot later? Because yeah, I noticed that those dots, or that, that um, white spot right before the waterfall, and I'm thinking to myself, is, is there a separate cave in there or something? Um, anyway, I want to have Steven focus on the zombie first. We're going to have Mal use her freeze on the armored frog. We're going to have Dan focus on the zombie. Let's do this. Yeah, how we made it back here without being possessed by a ghost is beyond me. Anyway, we've killed off the zombie. And Mal is doing a pretty good job in evasion. Alright. Um, Mal, let's have you go over to Frog B now. While the boys focus on Frog A. And that's not gonna do. That will, though. And Mal lost 5 PP. Great. Um, Dan, we're just gonna have you defend because you can't hear worth a crap. And seal the deal. We got it. Alright, so it looks like the cave is the only option right now. And on the way back, all three party members did each gain an experience level. Alright, so here we go into this cave. And first up for us is a violent roach. I wonder why he's violent. <laughs> and it is brow. When it have furrowed its brow? Because that's the correct term. Leap forward, spread its wings. It didn't work on Steven. Uh, <coughs> should I be worried about that? Because if I should be worried about that, then... Ugh. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Multiple paths? Like... Yeah, I was thinking to myself, is this a gift box? And it is. We got a bottle rocket. I haven't had a chance to use those yet. What are they for? Well, maybe we'll find out once we get further along. Like, I'd like to think that they're possibly used for attacking, but I really don't know at this point. And I'm surprised by the shortage of enemies. And I have all the reason in the world to be surprised by that, because we've left the cave and we're now moving on to another area. And we found this something. Was this some um, what we're talking about? We feel groove. Hi-ho, me, Mr. Saturn. Okay, I've, I've heard of m the Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. There are no Mrs. Saturns? Because, yeah, how are you going to procreate if you don't have any Mrs. Saturns? 
And it's like, you look familiar, but what are you? Of course, my, myself never having played this game, I wouldn't, wouldn't know what to make of this. And we got a phone. Let's go ahead and pick up the phone and call Dad. We now have over $8,000 in the bank. That's fine by me. We're gonna go ahead and save the game. And continue. Yeah, yeah, I know. When are we ever going to meet you face to face, Dad? Or are you just an absentee father like Dan's is? Do you want slumber? K.O.? You mean okay, but whatever. And nothing fixed by Dan. All right. So let's go in the various houses and see what else we can find. I'm Dr. Saturn! Zoom! And I can repair your body! Doing! Do you want me to operate on you? Ding? Um, no, I'm good. If you're alright, that's great! Zuma! So yeah, apparently all these things have... Yeah, I think these things are all naked. Once upon a time, we were many, many! Every day, slowly, or less, less. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Doing! Let's see, a gift box over here. Is it an actual gift box? It is an actual gift box. There's a rust promoter inside it. Alright. And it looks like there are caves, too, that we're gonna have to move our way around. Unless we have hit save. We look like same! I give you a special thing! Not now, zoom! I give you on the way back, B doing? Oh, it's a, it's a bee, it's a bee, okay. Bye later! I thought that, yeah, so boing! You have $380! We trade secret herd! So do it, so boing! You have, one th huh? We trade horn of life! Okay, so, um, as it stands right now, I don't have any money on me. I don't- I don't know. Is there a bank in here? Um... I'm not really sure. I guess we'll have to keep looking to find out. Base secret! Base behind Grapefruit Falls! Okay. So that's what they were g getting at. Password? I tell. Belchman say... Say password! Then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Oh, is that actually what it was? Scary, scary guy! Boing! Grapefruit Falls! Scary, sick, barfy! Go and la la la! Ding, scary! So yeah, what do you- Oh, and this is the dead end, really? So yeah, what do you do when there's a whole bunch of naked people running around? If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is a nudist colony. <laughs> But then again, we have already seen sexual innuendos being utilized in this game. And what the heck are you? Oh, this is the bank! Okay. So yeah, let's um withdraw 3,000, because yeah, if we can take money to help benefit us, that's great. Hi, hi, you come by? You can sell too. I miss the Saturn, boing. Can do all for you. What do you want? Zoom! What you buying? Zoom! Um... Okay. Alright, this is the Horn of the Life they were talking about. And Secret Herb. Now, here's the thing. Are these items actually necessary to continue on? Or are they just here for me to... Because I'd like to figure out if there is a point to having the Horn of Life or the Secret Herb. I'm thinking Horn of Life is like something that will... Um, auto-revive you if you die. Speaking of which, I have not seen any Cup of Life noodles to be available in a store anywhere. No, thanks. Um, does your friend sell weapons and armor? Um, yes, you do. Oh, but you sell slingshots and those things don't hit worth a shit. Okay. Yeah. Given my experience with slingshots, I don't think so. How do we stand? Alright, so I didn't really need to buy the calorie stick. 
So, let's go ahead and just pass it over to Dan. And then we can go ahead and start getting equipment. Alright. Yeah, yeah. We are buying. We're gonna buy... We're not buying slingshots. <laughs> yeah, God forbid we are buying slingshots. We, this is gonna be equipped by Steven. He gets a one-point increase. Thirty dollars. Sure. Yes. Next, we are buying a great charm for Dan. You equip it. It's a shame the great charm only gives you one point jump. Oh, he didn't have a charm. Oh, okay. Okay, so then... We'll continue buying. Alright. So, um... Are those intended for head? That my head? Um, let me check my... Okay, arms... Other... And... Arms. Okay, so yeah, I think this is fine. We can work with this. Alright. Then we will buy two silver bracelets. One will be worn by Steve. He gets a five-point jump. Yeah, that's fine. We will then go ahead and buy another silver bracelet. It'll be equipped by Dan. Oops. My bad, sorry. Oh, bye. <laughs> um, yes, we're buying. We're buying a red ribbon. And then Mal comes here, gets a five point jump. Okay, I'm gonna hold on because I want to um, pass the. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pass the um, calorie stick back over to Steven. And then we'll go ahead and talk again. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> yeah, I do have to admit this music is pretty catchy. So, silver bracelet for Dan. You wanna be equipping it here. Five point jump. There we go. And we're fine. Well, maybe, maybe not necessarily, because, yeah, I want to put my most of my money back. Um, let's go ahead and put most of my money back. And it's going to be... I'm going to put in a $1,000. There we go. For a little boy, I'm certainly a rich... I'm certainly rich. Alright, nothing of a note over there, or over there. What about you, little Mr. Nude Saturn? Lots of friends! Taken behind falls! Why? Why? Boing! Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not the best person to answer this question. Wait, I can't get off the ladder until he moves? Three to zombie fall! I saw a bed stink behind falls! Zoom! So is that why you're not letting me across? Is that also why I can't get access to the rest of this, these letters? Because, yeah, I think this is supposed to be a, that's supposed to be a sanctuary up there. Alright, well then. Since we haven't... Oh, wait a minute. We did already come through here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright, then. Uh, no, I want to go through. I want to go around. There we go. Yeah, I accidentally pressed the wrong way. Alright, so... Yeah, as it stands right now, I mean... I guess, I guess we know where we're going next, so what do you say we... Well, let's save first, because I haven't done that... Um, after... Or since buying my goods. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and... Call Dad. And so... With that, save the game. And continue on. Alright. Let's be on our way. And thank you all to all you Mr. Naked Saturn Heads. Yeah. I mean, we've se we've already seen that this game has more than its fair share of sexual innuendos. 
For a 1995 game, that shocks me a lot. Alright, moving on. I wonder if we'll actually see more enemies than we did on the initial pass. Well, here's another one. And let's continue. Yeah, so far in terms of enemies, not much to talk about, but they are starting to assert themselves. And in that last battle, Dane gained an experience level. Alright, so back out to this side now. And looks like we're gonna have to deal with the frogs again, as well as the red antoids. And these guys are frustrating enough. Let's go ahead and have Mal do what she does best and freeze the armored frogs. While the boys try and shoot the lights out on the... <clears throat> on the... Um... Insects. Oh, really? Well, let's go ahead and finish you off while everyone else goes back after the Antoids. Like, got rid of you. Got rid of you. And no one came to get your back. Which means we're gonna break stuff over your back. And victory is ours. And then we are getting a sugar packet. And I also got an experience level and a huge offense jump, too. That's what I'm talking about. And 7 points on HP. She also gets Psi Magnet Omega. Alright. Ah, oh, Butterfly, why do you have to be up there? <laughs> Ooh, new enemies. Yeah, this croc is gonna make his presence known. Specifically, a plane crocodile? Well, if he's plane, then why is he fighting us? Am I the one who has to ask these, ask the hard questions? Um... Well, actually, hold on. Let's go and have Steven attack those guy, the crocodile. And in the meantime, Mal can try and burn the ants. She uses her magnifying glass. <laughs> and, ooh, one evade? Two evasions? Uh, can't make it a clean sweep. Alright, Mal, keep going after the antoids. Boys, keep going after the crocodile. Down goes one ant. Ooh, yeah, swing its tail very hard, and yeah, that's gonna make things worse. Oh boy. Well then... Let's go ahead and have Mal... Um, oops, no, we're having her use one of her croissants. What does the protein drink do, by the way? Well, we, we can find out after this fight's over. Anyway, we've fended off the... Um, it didn't taste very good? Why didn't the croissant taste good? That's weird. I'm, I've never seen that message come up before, so I'm, I'm guessing that means it heals less of your HP? Well, in the meantime, Steven's now up to level 29. And a huge jump on HP also gains Paralysis Omega. Yeah, I could e re very much realistically see myself getting at level 99 by the time this game is over, because we're just gaining levels so fast. So, yeah, I guess we know that there's something in here. But why don't we go ahead and say the password? Did we? Um, do we have it in our possession as far as an item is concerned? Um, okay. So how do you say the password? Um... Okay, how do I say the password? Cause... Yeah, they... Said I could... The Saturn people said I could come and over here and... Figure out how to use the password, like... Um... So, is there supposed to be something that's in my possession that allows me to... Um... Say the password? Because, yeah, I don't really see anything. Okay. Um. Can't be used here. So then how do I say the password? Because, yeah, they did say that honey was, could be used. But yeah, something's amiss here. I must be missing something, so... Since we really didn't accomplish all that much, and we're 
almost on we're going past 20 minutes now i think i'll call the episode here because yeah i guess there's things to try and figure out again because yeah i thought i got the password from the mr saturn people but it turns out that wasn't the case so since i maybe i do need to buy those items that i was encouraged to buy back in um the saturn town so I think I'll go back there and buy them, and if I'm not actually meant to have them yet, then I guess we're gonna have to try and figure out another way, but hopefully next time I'll have figured this out and I'll be able to join you guys and we can go do what needs to be done. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Let's Play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will make our way back here to the waterfall to try and figure out how we can actually say the password and what we need to actually say it. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew and Navarro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.